The following is a presentation of TFNN. The Trader's Edge with Steve Rhodes. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648 or internationally at 727-873-7618. The Trader's Edge. Now, Steve Rhodes. Good morning, folks. Welcome to the December 27th, the wonderful Wednesday edition of today's Trader's Edge show. I'm your host, Stevie Perseverance Rhodes, who absolutely knows that each of us should always be pioneers of our future versus prisoners of our past. Hope everyone out there is having a great day. Hey, let's make sure we have an extraordinary one. Now, the easiest way to do that is to always remember that life is happening for us, not to us. That's right. When you and I make that one little two by four shift, means we can find the gift in every set of circumstance that life is going to toss at us. Now, today, you and I, we're going to go check on the circumstance of these markets. We'll go figure out what those bulls and bears, what those buyers and sellers are communicating to you and I at just past 11 o'clock in the morning. I do want you to know I am absolutely grateful for your presence here. But even more important than that. And that's this. During this next 53 minutes, I am here to serve you. So feel free to pick up that phone. I'd love to hear from you. 877-927-6648. That's the number to call in on. If you've got a question but you can't call in, you can always send me an email. Now send that off early and send that to Steve at TFNN.com. Inside the subject heading, please put radio show question. Of course, if you're inside our Tiger's Den, well, then any in every ping will do. So let's go ahead and get this show started on wonderful Wednesday. Of course, this is Tiger Financial News Network. I'm Steve Rhodes. Welcome to the show. we got a mixed bag as we begin our day. We've got the Dow up 38 points and New York Stock Exchange up 10. The other U.S. indices trading the downside. Three points for the S&P, eight points for the NASDAQ, two points for the Russell, seven points for the semis. Gold's up nearly 20 bucks. Silver's up nearly 25 cents. Lights recruit is off 63 pennies. Natural gas up nine cents. The three treasury up nearly one point, printed out at 125.07. The leaders in the clubhouse to the upside. Cytonetics up 31 bucks, 68 percent. MicroStrategy 24 bucks, nearly 4 percent. Coinbase about 11 bucks, 6 percent. Costco eight bucks, one and a quarter percent. Eli Lilly nearly five bucks, less than one percent to the upside. Our shakers, ProShares Trust Ultra is something now. It's not that. Netties is down five bucks. Alby Morrow's down three and a half. Adobe's off three. That's a half a percent. Palo Alto Networks off three, and United Rentals down three as well. Nothing really gigantic to the downside not really gigantic to the upside either so let's go ahead and begin our day by taking a look at the u.s equity future chart stevie's put together a slightly different set than what you're used to seeing out there let's see if we can change our windows and get over to the es mini let's begin with the es mini i'm pretty sure this is it let me see be it up on the screen there uh, that looks like it. I can't blow it out. Uh, hopefully over in the upper left-hand corner, you're seeing the ES Mini. It shows that. I've, so what I've got here, just so I can let me explain what we're looking at here. So I've got in one, the, the first column, I've got the ES Mini, the daily time frame up at the top. And then about halfway down, I've got the NQ. So we've got the two daily charts, along with all the tools you and I look like. Then we move over to the same uh, uh, two instruments, just the weekly time frame. And now we've got a monthly time frame look. So in one snapshot, we can see what's going on daily, weekly, and monthly for these two. We'll flip over, take a look at the Dow and the Russell. But here's what we know right now with regard to the ES Mini. First, we take a look at the daily time frame. This formed a TD9 count erosion to indicator bottom. In the case of the NQ, it was just a TD9 count bottom. We know that yesterday price closed above the TD9 count top. That uh, took place on the bar following bar number nine out there. Let me get my cursor out here. I can be a little bit more specific than that. I can tell you that was the bar from December 20th out there. So price is closed above that. It's trade above its green oscillator and change line. Uh, uh, trade above profile levels. It's in it's in a bullish breakout mode. It's as bullish as you can get out here. That's the daily time frame. That being said, it has triggered a road's momentum indicator top. That requires a bearish reversal candle to confirm that pattern, much like we had at the bottom. Can we have the same kind of move? Anything is possible. We just have to watch as price test different support levels. But we do know is not until we get that bearish reversal candle would that confirm a Rhodes momentum indicator top 
for the ES Mini. In other words, it can extend itself. This Rhodes Mentum indicator signal can extend itself. That's why we wait for a reversal candle, whether it's at the lows or at the highs. If we take a look at the NQ on its daily time frame, uh, it too has triggered a Rhodes Mentum indicator. Now, the ES Mini never had a top. So it never had a, a top out there, whereas the NQ did have a, a TD9 count top. But what the NQ has done, just like the ES Mini, both of them have triggered Rhodes Mentum indicator signals. And those are important for us to pay attention to. You might say, why? And I'll show you a reason why. And these are really great uh, signals and tools. In fact, the last one that formed out here, uh, that was at the trading session of, uh, that formed out here on uh, July 21st. We're taking a look at the weekly time frame chart now for the NQ. I guess I'm at the weekly chart. That's okay. Uh, I don't have a, oh, I do have the weekly chart. So the weekly chart for the NQ, let me take a look at that before I open that chart up. The weekly chart for the NQ is going to go ahead and confirm a TD9 count top on Friday. It'll complete that pattern next week. It also is in wave number seven. That requires a lower high to confirm that pattern out there. Now, the pattern that's more important, in my opinion, would be that Rhodes Mentum indicator signal. If we get a bearish reversal candle there, that says prepare for a move lower move lower well how far will move lower well again getting back to the july highs that came out there price moved all the way down into lows into the october november time frame out here so uh, that high took place on uh, july as i mentioned in july so i've got other identified patterns out here i've identified those ones that uh, uh, completed the pattern meaning that it generated that bearish reversal candle so you can see how price has responded these again these are weekly charts that we're taking a look at and that's a very important pattern for us to continue to watch and see how it develops now that pattern could get negated negated by never even forming a bearish reversal candle and losing that uh that relative strength divergence issue that is part of the um part of the uh a part of the uh, uh, of the indicator out there. So let's continue on with this here on the uh, so the ES mini also is in wave number seven. That's letter G. It also is going to go ahead and confirm a TD nine count top this week. If you ask me which are the two patterns that I prefer, I prefer the Rhodes Mentum indicator signal at the top or the bottom. But the TD nines work. In fact, the weekly chart confirmed a TD nine count top out there, and that took price all the way back to its breakout level. And that was at forty two thirty three. In the case of the NQ, I think we've already covered that wave seven Rhodes Mentum indicator signal TD9 count the whole nine yards now the monthly time frame charts for both of these instruments is bullish in fact you could make the case that on monthly basis the NQ has now confirmed a a to B equals CD to the upside pattern and the same would be true with the ES mini for its monthly time frame now that's already true for the case for the weekly time frames I don't have them drawn in here but we talked about that yesterday it's the weekly time frame charts that have the confirmed patterns to the upside we took a look at the spies or the Q's I think it was the spies yesterday it was a weekly that has that confirmed um, move up to I think it's the 155 ish area something don't quote me on that but something like that so that's what the monthly time frame chart is signaling to you and I at this stage of the game. Now, that's for the ES and the NQ. Let's go take a look at the Dow Equity Future contract. Let's try to do this one quickly because we've got about, you know, maybe 15, 20 seconds. I think it's going to be this screen. Yeah. So in the upper left, you've got the uh, Dow Equity Future contract. It's also triggered a Rhodes Mintum indicator signal, as has the Russell, which yesterday negated its sell the D point pattern out there. Steve Rhodes with TFNL. We'll be right back. We'll finish taking a look at these, and we'll get to a couple of requests that have come in. One for many to take a look at AMD, Carvana for John and the Tiger's Den, and G-Man wants to take a look at Amazon. We'll be right back. If you're looking for potential trading setups in the stock market, then Rocket Equities and Options Report is a newsletter you should try. Tommy O'Brien delivers options and equity trades when the markets present them using a combination of fundamentals and technicals. Sign up for Rocket Equities and Options Report today with a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. For all the details and to start your subscription today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. 
for daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities. Subscribe to the Opening Call Newsletter at TFNN.com. The Opening Call Newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. Steve Rhodes started his trading career as a student almost 20 years ago, and the student has now become the master. Steve won the prestigious Timer of the Year Award in 2018 and barely missed that mark again in 2019, finishing at number two for the year. An amazing accomplishment. Steve Rhodes is committed to sharing his techniques and knowledge with anyone who wants to learn, and he shares his vast amount of trading knowledge every day in his Mastering Probability newsletter. Steve's award-winning newsletter, Mastering Probability, is delivered every trading day with updates throughout the afternoon. Sign up for Steve's market newsletter Mastering Probability, and you'll receive access to seven of Steve's educational webinars absolutely free. At TFNN, all our newsletters come with a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have absolutely nothing to worry about. Visit TFNN.com and try Mastering Probability 30 days risk-free today. TFNN, educating investors. TFNN has launched the Tiger's Den, hosted at Discord. TFNN has been educating traders for more than 20 years with live programming hosted by a variety of professional traders during market hours. The Tiger's Den, available to all tigers and tigresses for just $1 for the year. There's no cash or added costs when you join our community of traders. Sign up today and become a part of this educational community of traders. Just visit the front page of TFNN.com. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Folks, so now we got the uh, Dow charts up on our screen, the Dow, the Russell 2000. You'll see that here on the Dow charts for the daily time frame. It, too, has triggered a road momentum indicator signal, as has Russell 2000. So we should get some type of top. We should get some type of top anywhere between today and the uh, first week of uh, January, let's say by next Friday out there. So we're on top watch out here uh, for the daily time frame. That's just part of the seasonal cycle out there. Doesn't mean that it will happen, but we now have the pattern that's the one that we most want to be paying attention to, and that's that Rosemont indicator signal. That's for the daily time frame. We do have it in a couple of the weekly charts. We looked at the NQ that has that weekly signal. That's the only one actually that has the weekly signal. Now, in the case of the uh, Dow Equity Future contract, uh, it is likely going to confirm a TD9 count top by Friday. In the case of the Russell 2000, no such thing out there. The Russell's in a world of its own. Where's the Russell 2000 headed to? That's a great question. On its monthly time frame, it does have a Rosemontum indicator signal, or the Dow has a Rosemontum indicator signal. I apologize for the uh, for its monthly time frame. Where's the Russell 2000? I think the Russell 2000 will take its P's and Q's from the other three equity future contracts. If they actually top, I doubt that the Russell is going to continue. It's a beautiful rally that it's had for the last couple of months out here. So to summarize this, you can see that we've got or you, you have seen we've got weekly signals, weekly topping patterns that are going to confirm this week, complete next week, right Right as we're coming into the seasonal pattern that identifies uh, at least short term top, sometimes longer than a short term top out there. And the daily time frames have the signals, roads meant to indicator signals. So the first bearish reversal candle for whether it's the ESCNQ, the Dow, or the uh, Russell 2000, that'll be our signal that we likely do have the top in, whether it's uh, for this year or it's the top, it's the early top of next year. Okay, so let's move on and take a look at some requests out here. We can always go back and take a look at the indices. I've got the same set of charts up here for indices and a few other things. Uh, gold, silver, lights, we crude, natural gas. But for the moment, let's go take a look at, um, start on some of our requests out here. The first request that came in, 
uh, is from uh, Eddie. This is from yesterday. And Eddie wanted to take a look at AMD. I think we were trying to get to it, but uh, we ended up being unable to do that. Now, right now, on a daily time frame, Eddie, AMD has a TD9 count top that formed on December 19th. And that high out there is 143.47. A close above 143.47, you're trading above that right now, negates that signal. You'd be trading above the top of its profile screen, asset and change line. That would tell you that this has more room to the upside. That is on AMD for its daily time frame. Turns out that when we look at the weekly time frame, price is going to, it's in wave number seven, although I kind of call this more of a C, uh, a wave number three than a wave number seven. That's because to the downside, AMD got to wave number four. Once you get to wave number four, from my standpoint, yeah, that seventh wave kind of goes away with regard to uh, that signal. But it does have a TD9 count top that is going to confirm this week and is going to complete next week. So much like the NQs uh, patterns out here, you've got the same pattern really inside AMD. Now, on a monthly time frame, much like we took a look at on the monthly time frame for the ES or the NQ out there. Here you've got a confirmed, well, I don't know if it's confirmed yet, but you have an A to B equals CD pattern to the upside. The B point is from June of 2023. Now, there's 1.5 billion shares in the month of December. You're at 1.1. Pretty good, considering we are in light trading out here. This is suggesting that price wants to go target that high. That's the high of November 2021, and that's up at the 164.46 level. But we've got to give priority to this weekly and daily signal out here. Now, if price does end the day back below its TD9 count high, that's at 143.47. Um, that could be telling us that this is really getting ready to top out here. And if it closes above it, well, then it's suggesting it wants to run further to the upside. On a short-term time frame chart, do I have anything to help us out here, Eddie? On a 30-minute, now I believe you closed out your uh, call position yesterday, but that's okay. You know, I, I think that's what you did. I can't recall now. Uh, but I'm still going to go ahead and give you the review of the, uh, of the charts out here. On a 30-minute time frame, I don't really have a topping pattern per se that we're going to uh, worry about at this moment. Price is trading above or right now the top of that 30-minute profile, so that's a bullish signal out there. So AMD, again, nothing more than what we did at the open, and if it closes above that high from back on the trading day of December the 19th, again, that high out there was at 143.47. This suggests it wants to continue to run higher. So thanks for waiting today, Eddie, and thank you so much for that request. John inside the Tiger's Den would like to take a look at Carvana. And we take a look at Carvana, do we have a sell the D point pattern on its daily time frame? And the answer is we do, or it looks like we do. Looks like there was close to a 0.382 retracement out here. And so let's go with a sell the D point pattern with price right now testing a key level of support, John. And that's that oscillator and change line. This is the area where if you were looking to add to a position, one would consider this area, 52.99. That's that green oscillator and change line. As long as price remains above that, even though let's say we've got a top out here, the signal is somewhat neutralized. Now, it really gets neutralized or gets bullish when price takes out that high. If it can do that, that's a close above 62.59. If price closes below this, we got to go take a look at a short-term time frame chart, see if we can get some kind of signal out here for you, John. But if price closes below that, your next area of support, your next buy zone, is between 47.52 and 50.03. If price closed below 47.52, then that would be telling us to prepare for a further move lower, and that price target would be 29.84. That is not what we have as we speak right now. That's the daily time frame for Carvana. So what we can say is price is testing support. Now, when price tests support on a daily time frame, we like to look to the intraday charts to see if it's doing the same thing. When I say doing the same thing, is it identifying a bottom? Is it identifying a bottom? Is it testing some support? Turns out that in the case of 30-minute charts for Carvana, they formed a Rhodes momentum indicator bottom at 3.30 yesterday afternoon. Had a little bit of a rally. Now we've just got price consolidating with inside its profile, testing that bottom out there. So if price can close again back about 53.95, you're likely to get a move to 58.38. Really what it really needs to do is close above this high. Don't know why price stopped there at 10 o'clock this morning. That's up at 55.48, but it did. So you do have a bottom inside of Carvana on the 30-minute time frame chart with the daily time frame chart testing a support area. The weekly chart says if we get a bearish reversal candle on Friday, that will confirm a Rhodes momentum indicator top. Short of that, price should continue to move higher. The monthly time frame chart, your trade above profiles, 
I mean, it really needs to. What's finding resistance where it formed this bearish engulfing? That was the month of September of 2023. If this can close by 5680, that would be a very bullish, or that would be a very positive uh, signal for you with regard to Carvana. So we know where our P's and Q's are. We know where support is. We know where resistance is as well. We know the signals that have been generated. John, if there's anything else that I can provide for you, please let me know. Otherwise, thank you so much for taking the time to put in that request. G-Man inside the Tiger's Den would like to take a look at Amazon. If he wants to take a look at it, I want to take a look at it. And his question is, where is the upside continuation to when we take a look at Amazon? So I don't have any kind of a topping pattern on the daily time frame. I'm going to just open this up and make sure. Pull back even further. Yeah, I don't know about the A to B equals C to C. I don't, at this stage here, I don't see a real topping pattern. I do see resistance. The resistance was established now here by the uh, bear shooting star from December 20th. So your resistance level, or A resistance level, is at 155.63. Price is trained above some other resistance. That's its bearish structured daily profile. That's a bullish signal. In order to get its support, in order to get its mojo, it needs to close above the screen oscillator and change line, though. That's at 153.87. That's a number for you to keep an eye on. Give a couple pennies or two, but we'll be right back to finish off Amazon for Gmail. The Gold Report. As a precious metal, gold is still king. It continues to hold the most effective safe haven and hedging properties across the global major trading hubs of the London OTC market, the U.S. futures market, and the Shanghai Gold Exchange. The Gold Report. Tom O'Brien publishes his weekly gold report every Monday morning for subscribers, consisting of coverage of the XAU, HUI, GDX, the dollar, bonds, the South African Rand, as well as 25 different mining equities with specific buy-sell recommendations. The Gold Report. New subscribers get a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. Subscribe to Tom O'Brien's Gold Report newsletter now at TFNN.com. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text, either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern. For free, each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. TFNN has just launched their new trading room, The Tiger's Den. Hosted at Discord, TFNN has been educating traders for more than 20 years with live programming hosted by a variety of professional traders during market hours. And now they are expanding their reach with The Tiger's Den. Available to all tigers and tigresses for just $1 for the year. There's no catch or added costs when you join our community of traders. In The Tiger's Den, you can look over the shoulders of Tom O'Brien and the other TFNN hosts while they analyze charts during their live Tiger TV programs and join an interactive trading community with hundreds of members exchanging ideas. Interact with other Tigers and Tigresses as they share trading ideas, news analysis, and discuss the market action all trading day, even at night and on the weekends. The Tiger's Den at Discord is accessible on mobile or tablets as well, so it's always at your reach. To sign up today and become a part of this educational community of traders, just visit the front page of TF. .com. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. Welcome back. 
Welcome back, up, folks. So we're taking a look at the charts for Amazon. On a daily basis, it sounded pretty bullish. The weekly chart and the monthly chart both suggest caution. Why? Because there's TD9 count pattern that is going to complete on Friday. It confirmed last week. It's going to complete on Friday. It doesn't guarantee that prices are going to move lower, but it is a topping pattern. You've also got a Rochement Dominicator signal. If we did get a bearish reversal candle, that would confirm a top as well. Now, the first levels of support, GMAN, are down at about 149.26. That's the top of the weekly profile. The support level for the monthly TD9 count top that's going to complete this week is at the 133.54 level. Now, well, that gets us down below the bottom of the profile on the daily time frame. So how would you trade this? You could trade this as such. Now, not all TD9 counts work. For example, in the case of the weekly time frame chart, there was a TD9 count that completed the week of May 19th. It was negated the very next week. That told us about a very strong upward momentum move. Goes up, makes a TD9 count top. And then we have a couple of week decline. Where's that decline take us to? It's a test and rejection of that green oscillator and change line. Remember about a momentum trade, that green oscillator and change line is going to be the buy point. Period. End of story out there. At least Stevie's story. So now you've got another TD9 count. Odds favor, price pulls back and tests that oscillator and change line. That's what gets us back to the 149 level. That would certainly get us back inside the daily profile level. So the first area to really watch out here, G-Man, I would say would be 151.40 on any pullback. No, I'm sorry, 152.03. The price closes below that, which is the top of the profile. You'd be watching for 149.64. Now, the cool thing about this set of charts out here is that that is a bearish structured daily profile. If the move lower was only a counter trend move, if we even get a move lower, but if we do get a move lower, and if it's only a counter trend move, price will find support or should find support between 149.64 and 152.03. So I hope that analysis helps to put things in perspective, at least technically, what the charts are communicating to us for Amazon. And as always, thank you so much for your request. Dan inside the Tigers Den wants to take a look at ticker symbol CVM. So let's get those charts fired up on our screen and take a look at what they're doing. Why didn't that work out there? Let's try this one more time. CVM, which is Cell Psi Corp out here. So what's Cell Side Corp doing out here? Now, Dan had identified that yesterday's price action actually confirmed an A to B equals CD to the upside because the B point was this little, what says B on it right now, that just coincidentally, it's also the B point of the A to B equals CD pattern. That swing point had volume or generated volume of 644,000 shares. Yesterday, price passed that with 976. So that gives us an A to B equals CD. That gives us an initial price target of four bucks. Now, that retracement is less than a 0.618. It's 48% retracement out there. So odds would favor this could do or should do more than a one-to-one -one A to B equals CD. The one-to-one 1.272 gets you to 453. However, there is a Rhodesman indicator signal that is present. If that were to generate a bearish reversal candle, Dick Dan, that would say time out. And the timeout would say price is going to pull back and test the oscillator and change line as it is doing so far this morning. It's just a test of support. That support right now resided at $2.94. Turns out, just like in Amazon, the weekly chart says time to be careful. Now, Amazon's was a little bit more mature by one more week, but you're going to get a confirmed TD9 count top unless this thing sells off drastically during the next couple of trading sessions out there. And we're getting that TD9 count top, Dan, right at TD9 count breakdown resistance 299. Now we know that that is a very key level of resistance. So what happens if price closes above it? You're still going to get the TD9 count top. Again, that pattern will confirm this week. It will complete next week out there. So keep your eyes glued to that daily time frame chart. And the very first thing you would notice would be price would fail to hold support. That green oscillator change on that would tell you about its loss of momentum. That would then signal the pullback to at least a 252 area. In the case of the weekly, its price target is actually 241. Much like we looked at, Dan, in Amazon for the daily time frame, you have that same kind of pattern on the weekly time frame, meaning that is a bearish um, that is a bearish uh, uh, structured profile. Price has been above it for more than two consecutive weeks on any pullback out here. If it's only a counter trend move to the downside, price should find support between 221 and 241. The monthly chart looks good because price is trained above profile. Do we have any other kind of signals out here? For example, what's it doing? This has been doing on a 30 minute time frame. I don't know, but let's go find out. And on a 30-minute time frame, you've got what? You have a TD9 count top out there. 
That top has been tested. It is held. So price is likely going to go test support. No, it's below support. Uh, the next level of support, because there's a new profile, 305, Dan, on a 30-minute basis, was the bottom of the bullish structured 30-minute profile. So below that, its next area of support is at 277 on a further move lower. That's coming from the 30-minute time frame. Chart out there. But we're not going to get down there unless price gives up the daily green oscillator and change line. So watch the 294 level. If price closes below that, you know where it's headed to based upon that 30-minute set of charts that we had. And I hope that that overall review is good for you for Cell Psy Corp. That was for ABCD, otherwise known as Dan, inside the Tiger's Den. Duncan Steve would like to go to Dunkin' Donuts. Well, we were watching last night. Oh, no, a couple nights ago. We watched the uh, – we hadn't seen really much in the way of, of Christmas uh, – uh, movies out there but you know we had everybody over and obviously we started doing that uh, one of my favorites well my favorites probably miracle on 34th street but another one of my favorites is the santa claus the one with tim allen in it and um I, you know some of the lines that he's got in there they're just such great subtle humor they probably couldn't produce that movie today it somehow would offend people out there but um uh, what was i, I was going to say uh there was a line in there maybe my memory will get jogged again out here uh, uh i'm trying to jog it but uh, was it uh, in any event? I'll try to think about it. But let's take a look at the uh, SMH. Oh, Dunkin' Donuts. That's what it was. It was the Dunkin' thing because they showed they had this board up there and they were showing where the, where the house was that they lived in. The police were surrounding it, and on the map, it's got just the house. And if you look over to the left hand side, it shows a donut shop. And then they've got this one uh, scene where the uh, kids, uh, the elves, are in there with the police officer. And what's he doing? He's eating a donut, too. Talk about stereotypes out there. In any event, you, you, you kind of get the sense of humor. But let's go take a look at the SMHs. Maybe you don't get that sense of humor. I got it, kind of got it. But let's take a look at what the SMHs are doing. So first one th first thing that we notice out here, there's an A to B equals CD to the upside that is present. Price is nowhere near completing that pattern. Let me see if I've got it written in yet. To complete that pattern, just the one-to-one -one move gets you to 185.90. That retracement, this retracement here, this B to C retracement along that leg there, that was only 30%. Less than the 0 0.382 out there, pretty strong. So you are trading above the top of its profile. You are trading, um, you do have a Rhodes momentum indicator signal that has been triggered out there. If this did generate a bearish reversal candle, Duncan, this would be a top. Now, much like Amazon, much like we took a look at, uh, forget the CVM out there. Here you've got a daily bearish structured profile. If we get a top, and the retracement just finds support in the buy zone. And the buy zone here would be where the counter trend rally would end because it was a bearish structured profile. Duncan, that's between 172.33 and 174.10 out there. We got to be careful on the SMHs. Why? The weekly is going to go ahead and confirm a TD9 count top this week, complete the pattern next week, and a bearish reversal candle would go ahead and confirm a Rosemont indicator top. But the monthly chart is saying not so fast. It looks pretty darn bullish. Steve Rhodes with TFNN. We'll be right back. Currencies, commodities, and bond markets are as important as ever right now with how they're driving the volatility in equity markets across the globe, which is why it's a great time to try out Teddy Kegstat's Tiger Forex Report. Teddy Kegstat breaks down the Forex markets every Monday using his 30-plus years of experience as a trading veteran of futures, Forex, stocks, and options. Teddy releases his weekly Tiger Forex Report every Monday morning with coverage of all the major currency pairs, including the dollar index, the euro dollar, pound dollar, dollar Swiss, dollar yen as well as many more and he also has weekly coverage of the crude oil market and the 30-year t-bonds as they both influence forex markets tremendously when you sign up for the tiger forex report you also gain instant access to teddy's 60-minute webinar archive he just hosted forex strategies and fundamentals what is behind the tiger forex report for all the details and to start your 30-day tiger forex report subscription today visit the front page of tfnn.com tfnn educating investors Everything in the universe is governed by the Fibonacci sequence. This mathematical principle is responsible for everything from the most aesthetically pleasing artwork to patterns in the stock market. To stay on top of stock patterns you can take advantage of, sign up for the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter at tfnn.com. When you subscribe, 
you'll get a weekly report from veteran day trader Larry Pesavento on stocks you need to pay attention to. And you can trust Larry's analysis. After all, he's got 45 years experience as a day trader. Larry will also provide daily charts, videos, and data on the key markets that he's tracking. Expect notifications from Larry on market movement you need to act on at any time. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. Subscribe to the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter today. TFNN.com. Educating investors. Are China A shares hot or not? If you trade China A shares, now may be time to take a closer look. Trade CHAU or CHAD. Directions Daily CSI 300 China A Share Bull and Bear ETFs. China A Shares in either direction. Visit directioninvestments.com today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact direction shares at 866 476 7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors, such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. This program is brought to you by Vista Gold, traded on the NYSE American and TSX under the symbol VGZ. Welcome back, uh, folks. We're taking a look at the monthly time frame chart here for the SMHs. Its B point of an A to B equals CD pattern was taken out with volume. Let me make sure that the high is 159.41. This close was 160.48. That volume was 165.65 million. That was taking out 85 million shares out there. So that's your confirmed A to B equals CD. The question is, where do you? Pull, where do you put the A point? Do you use the low here from March of 2020? Do you come all the way back to July of 2019? Do you come back even further out here? Because you could, you know, so where do we, that's why it looks pretty darn positive. So uh, what I would do at this stage here, if you're asking me what's a nice next upside price target, Duncan, you probably are. I'm just going to, I would just simply take the expansion of a set of swing points on a monthly basis. The high for November 21st, to the TD9 count bottom in October of 2022. And that gets you to 181.73. And above that, it would be 208.45. So that's what I would use. But right now, what you have to be concerned with is really the weekly time frame chart. And so we've got topping signals for the weekly. You've got a signal, but you don't have a con confirmation on the daily time frame. So just be, keep your eyes open for bearish reversal candles there. Hope that helps you out, Duncan. And uh, thanks much for playing along the uh, Santa Claus movie game where Stevie was reminiscing about the uh, donut uh, stereotypes of the police officers. Now, we've got a request from Joey D or Joey to take a look at um, Workday out here. We take a look at Workday. All that I see right now in the daily time frame is a wave number seven top with a consolidation with inside that profile. And that profile level support is at 266.85 and resistance up at 279.83. On a weekly time frame, I don't see any type of a topping pattern or signal just yet. So, and prices above profile, it's green oscillator and change line. That is bullish. Uh, we have all kinds of bullish signals on the monthly time frame. Was a monthly swing point. That was the month of September of 2023, taken out with volume. I had 37 million shares. And last month, this did 40 million shares. So, in Workday, this is a gigantic, a gigantic A to B equals CD to the upside out here. Just to give you an approximation for that, where that could take us to over time, not today, not tomorrow, but over time, could take us up towards that 325-ish area out there. So what you're dealing with here, Joey, is the daily time frame, good old-fashioned consolidation. It does have a top. Um, with just a consolidation with inside that pattern. I wish I could provide you with more, but I can't. So we'll just simply end it there. And I do hope that that helps you with the information that you are looking for for Workday. Peter. 
would like to go take a look at currencies. So let's do that. Let's get the euro, the yen, and the pound up on our screen out here. And the euro is suggesting, let's actually get over to it to show you what it's suggesting. It's suggesting a A to B equals CD to the upside. That'll get us into that 1 to 13 area out there. Now, let me see. I can give you probably the exact price target. The exact price target of this A to B equals CD, uh, it doesn't even expand it out that much further for me. So 113 is what we're going with out there. So its B point was taken out yesterday. That's the swing point from November of, of uh, November 29th. This is the daily time frame that we're looking at uh, out here. And that was taken out yesterday. So that sets up that A to B equals CD. Now, the euro represents 58% of the weighting inside of the U.S. dollar index. So and there's no other topping signal that we have in place in store out here for the euro. So if it's going to make that kind of move, and what this is telling us is this going to make more than a one-to-one -one move. Why is it giving us that signal, Stevie? Because look where price is trading along the left side of that C to D leg. That leg on the A to B and the C to D are exactly the same. When price trades along the left-hand side, tells you about a stronger move. When you have a stronger move, especially when the retracement here is only 51%, that's another signal that this is likely to do more than a one-to-one -one A to B equals C D to the upside. The 1 to 1.272 gets us into the 114 area out there. So if, in fact, and the euro is telling us right now that's what its intent is, Peter, if, in fact, the euro does this, the U.S. dollar in index is likely to get hammered. And I'm not talking about drinking some good old, you know, uh, Jack Daniels or anything. I'm talking about truly getting hammered. Now, in the case of the Japanese yen, she's decided to strengthen against the U.S. dollar index as well. Take a look at that beautiful TD9 count bottom, but price has been unable to take out that oscillator and change line. And you've been along here long enough to know that that's red. And when that's red and you don't take that out, you trade below it, that is a bearish signal. That tells us we have a falling price oscillator below zero. End of story. Those are bearish conditions. Now, it's sort of neutral here because you still have that TD9 count bottom, but it's moving lower, and that is suggesting that the dollar would get stronger as well. Well, holy cow. Take a look at that great British pound. It has a wave number seven pattern, or at least it did. Was that high taken out? Well, the high on that pattern was up here from the trading day of December 14th, and that high was at 1.2794. We're trading above that as we speak right now. That pattern no longer exists. And as long as price remains above that green oscillator and change on currently at 1.27389, just to be granular and exact out there, odds favor this rallies. Well, this is rallying. The U.S. dollar index is getting weaker as well. Holy shnikes. Looks like the U.S. dollar index is getting ready to get crushed. Well, let's not stop there for Peter. Let's actually go take a look at the U.S. dollar index, try to get a feel for where maybe it is headed to. And to do that, we're going to come to our black background screens, and we'll go find that U.S. dollar index. I know I've got the charts out here somewhere. And momentarily, they'll pop up on our screen. Well, I thought they would. PTR, what did I do with it? What did I do with it? I must have moved it already. Where is it? Come on, Stevie. They're waiting for you. They're waiting. Get your act together. Okay. So now we got our act together. So the one-to-one, -one, A to B equals CD, gets us to 99.33. Again, look at that retracement. See how price is along the left-hand side here as it moves down. The actual price target, certainly the initial is 99.33, but 98.09 is a more likely price target. Now, as we say that, we also have to look at the mere fact that price is trading into a cluster. That's that type of cluster. It's a cluster of rising trend lines. So there is some support. We can make the case that there is some potential support here on the weekly time frame. I'm going to call it false support. No, it's real. It is potential support out there. But I'm not buying it. Now we take a look at what's going on right now today inside the euro, the yen, and the pound. Something would have to change to suggest that that is a different outcome. We look at the weekly time frame chart, prices below that key level, 101.60. Now, it doesn't matter whether it's trading below that today. It matters where it closes on Friday. So it closed below 101.60 on Friday, Peter. That's another signal of a further move lower. Now, we take a look at the U.S. dollar index for its monthly time frame. Price has busted through this uh, profile support level a couple of different times. So the real area where price should be targeting is the most recent low and that would get us down to the 9850 level we're at 100.53 no matter how we slice this it looks like the u.s dollar index is getting ready to get crushed and if this gets crushed well what's that going to do to goldilocks you know that's a great question but again just to uh, restate the correlations out here 
well, here's the GDX in Franco, Nevada. That's really not what I was going for, but that's okay. We're going to go ahead and put up gold up top, and then we'll get the U.S. dollar index in there. So let me do this. Let me get uh, uh, GC11. Got that in there. Let me get the uh, U.S. dollar index. I realize we're going to go to a break here momentarily. Still, I want to see if I get this to populate while we're on air here. If not, we'll do it as soon as we get back. X. Same thing down below. What we're going to see here is the correlation momentarily between the U.S. dollar index and Goldilocks out here. Steve Rhodes with TFN. We'll have to do this as soon as we get back to this break. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. Everything in the universe is governed by the Fibonacci sequence. This mathematical principle is responsible for everything from the most aesthetically pleasing artwork to patterns in the stock market. To stay on top of stock patterns you can take advantage of, sign up for the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter at TFNN.com. When you subscribe, you'll get a weekly report from veteran day trader Larry Pesavento on stocks you need to pay attention to. And you can trust Larry's analysis. After all, he's got 45 years experience as a day trader. Larry will also provide daily charts, videos, and data on the key markets that he's tracking. Expect notifications from Larry on market movement you need to act on at any time. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. Subscribe to the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter today. TFNN.com, educating investors. TFNN has just launched their new trading room, The Tiger's Den. Hosted at Discord, TFNN has been educating traders for more than 20 years with live programming hosted by a variety of professional traders during market hours. And now they are expanding the reach with The Tiger's Den. Available to all tigers and tigresses for just $1 for the year. There's no catch or added costs when you join our community of traders. In The Tiger's Den, you can look over the shoulders of Tom O'Brien and the other TFNN hosts while they analyze charts during their live Tiger TV programs and join an interactive trading community with hundreds of members exchanging ideas. Interact with other Tigers and Tigresses as they share trading ideas, news analysis, and discuss the market action all trading day, even at night and on the weekends. The Tiger's Den at Discord is accessible on mobile or tablets as well, so it's always at your reach. To sign up today and become a part of this educational community of traders, just visit the front page of TF. NN.com. Welcome back, folks. So now what we take a look at is we're taking a look at gold up at the top. The U.S. dollar index is uh, down at the uh, at the uh, center, and the tool down below that is showing us the three-day correlation. When bars are below the zero threshold level, that tells us about a inverse relationship. When price is above, it tells us about a direct relationship. You can see that probably 90% or so of the bars are below zero over a three-day period of time. So it talks us about a strong directional relationship out there. Let's go take a look at what's going on inside of Goldilocks now and what we want to be paying attention to here. So we'll switch over to those charts momentarily. Give me a moment we'll get over there this will take us to our white background charts and here what we'll see we've got four different charts the daily time frame in the left hand side what you can see is the nice rally that we've had in gold is going to generate a td9 count top today but if the us dollar index is going to head lower 
I think this TD nine count top is just simply not going to matter. Who's the horse? Or who's the tail? Who's the dog? Who, you know, that whole concept out there. Well, look, the TD nine count top can top on the bar following bar number nine. So we'll have to take a look at tomorrow's activity as well. But it does have a topping pattern out there. But we want to go ahead and keep our eyes on that U.S. dollar, which means we want to keep our eyes on the euro, the yen, and the pound. If we take a look at the weekly time frame chart, we don't have anything out here much to help us with other than we're trading above last week's high. That's a bullish signal. And on the uh, silver uh, chart out here, let's get this over to current data. You've just got a consolidation with inside this profile. Needs to close about 2479 to tell us that this is going to break out the GDX uh, trading above profile resistance up at 3162, trading above its green oscillator and change line. It is simply bullish out there. So that's what we see inside of Goldilocks. That's what we see for the U.S. dollar index, the euro, the yen, and the pound out there. And that takes us to basically the end of the show. So to summarize it, if we can, let's see if I get back to, well, let's see here, radio show, radio show, daily equity future contracts. We'll put those up on our screen again. What you want to do is you want to be paying attention to these roads meant indicator signals at the ES, the NQ, the YM and the Russell have out there. If we get bearish reversal candles, that's going to identify our high. Other than that, price heads higher. Folks, stay tuned for all the great programming. I'll see you back here on Terrific Thursday. Have a wonderful Wednesday, and thanks so much for joining us.